Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to my channel. I am on a mission to use up my guest checks and to use up some of my stash. So these are some pieces of um, digital images, papers. And I think these are from Ruby and Pearl XO. And then I have a couple here from Rachel at Roxy Creations. Um, and I just thought it would be fun to use up some of these small envelopes and I'm, my thought is to make a little flip on a guest check. Um, but I'm really enjoying doing the guest checks as the back, on the back of what I'm making. Um, so I'm going to pull off four. I'm not sure we're going to get four made uh, today, but we'll give it a whirl. I'm definitely getting down with those. I've got, I've got four envelopes and that's kind of what's dictating what I do when. Okay, so I've cut these pieces of paper to the height of this envelope because I know I want to use that to cover my flip. So I will be doing that, um, but I think I'm going to attach them to the front of the, um, of the guest checks first before we put anything else on them. So we're going to use the guest check. This is my thought. We'll use the guest check uh, narrative in the back. I'm going to cut these little flaps because we don't need the whole thing. I'm trying to think this through as I go. And here we go. All right. We have these. I'll just move them out of the way. Is it distracting to see these papers? Let me move those out of the way for a second. So my thought is, if I were to take this as I normally would and glue it there, then it's going to encroach on this bit. I mean, it's not bad. You could still write on it if you were going to use it that way. Or I could attach it here. If I do that, then I need to put the paper on and I need to cut the paper ahead of time. Um, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make it easy and I'm going to cover this side first. So I've got this beautiful paper and I'm going to put glue it down and we're going to cut around these and take it from there. So. Yeah, let, why not make it easy on ourselves? Since we can write on that, a bit of that little lip, if you will, that the wallpaper is on. Not the wallpaper on, the flap will be attached to. So we'll set that there. So that'll give us one pink one. I really love this color. And let's see, will this fit nicely? Oh, it's going to fit perfectly. Okay. So we're going to put our guest check on here. And if you don't have guest checks, just use a piece of um, paper or a piece of, you know, whatever you want. A piece of scrap cardstock would be grand as well. So I can see there's a lot in the middle, towards the middle of the writing. I'm going to do that. I think I want to, I really love the tone of that, so I think I'll do that another time. And glue it down. So yeah, this is me kind of trying to figure it out as we go. Maybe we'll do one completely and then we'll just work on what else we have. That's my thought. We'll stick with it. Okay, so we're going to set that on there. So that's two. And then there's this one. And I think I want it right up there on that really cool print. So. I always like to put a bit of glue on that perforation, that way 
we know that's not going to split on the page in any way on the, the substrate we're attaching it to. Okay, where is that? Just in like so, I think. And you know we're going to save this all this paper because we can use it for other things. Okay, let's cut this one out. How's everybody doing? I hope you're well. We're having another dark day here. But you know the wet weather is good. Good for the ground. Good for plantings good to remove or mitigate fire hazards as well. Oh, that's really, really pretty. I like that. Shall we cut them all out and then go from there? Why not? So yeah, it's a great way to use up any extra bits of um, digital pages that you didn't use in a project you were making or you could print off new ones. If you want, I'm using I'm using mustache. Love that too. Um, because I just find that's less waste and sometimes if you use your stash you get an even more eclectic kind of feel to what you're doing, what you're making, and I think that's kind of fun too. There's another one. And then this one. Now we can move these bits off to the side and use them again. Sorry, that's probably a piece I won't use again. I just pull those and put them on the floor and clean up later. So continuing with the cutting, hopefully I've not been too quiet for you. There we go. Oh, that's really fun, isn't it? Yeah. It's like soap, savon, soap, or uh, certainly um, like perfumes and that sort of thing. You see that, that French word used a lot. I love this one. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to attach this. I'm going to attach it on this side because I want to see this bit here. I'm sorry, I moved to other screen. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that. And I go about an eighth to a sixteenth from the crease. Um, and then we're going to set this in like so because it doesn't have to go right to the crease. There we go. And then we've got a little bit of a white here. You could use a little bit of ink if you wanted to get rid of that, but I think it looks fine. You could cover it with coffee stain paper as well. So we've got this and now it's a matter of choosing which paper we want to use. This is really, really pretty. Um, so I'm going to, and it goes nicely with it, not that it has to necessarily. So I'm going to glue in here. Let me just move this a little closer. So I'm going to just, I'm going to put glue all around the outside of the envelope. And of course you can do this with bigger envelopes, etc. that you might have. I don't want to put any glue in here. And then I'm going to take and put a little, just a line of it, and that will close whatever we have that we're, oh, I want that like that. I'm just going to make sure that it's straight on the bottom. I know this piece that I cut might be a little bit higher than I need it to be, and it's got a little divot in it there, but that's okay, because I'm going to, um, be cutting it on the top. And then I fold it back. Actually this will fold over what we've already done. That's kind of cool. And we'll get back, we'll get to that in a second. But let's 
Let's put lots of glue on here. Fun with envelopes. And we will, because we've already folded it, it's going to go where we want it. And then I'm going to just take this and you can hear Midge, must be, um, what is it about dogs and, and postmen? Anyway, when she knows that the post is being delivered, she's on it. Look at that, and that just covers up that white, gives us a little prettiness there. And now we have a little flip right there. Very nice. And just going to cut it down a little bit. And that's where we would put a little tiny pot, or like a little tiny tag. Something like that in there. We could put a little divot on it. Trying to see if I'm centered in some way. So apologies for all the barking. I think that's really cute, really, really, really cute. And then I would probably take my quarter inch and just go, I don't think that went in all the way, nope, around like that. And this would go in a journal. You can write on here, you can write on the back, and you can decorate the front up a little bit more. Put a little, do I have? I had some really fun tags from, oh, these are perfect. These are from you, Vernie, um, from Veronica, from Triple V Vintage. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? And then you can put a little uh, label somewhere, but I think that looks really, really nice. Okay, let's see if we can get another one or two done. All right. So because it's got writing over here, I think... Do I want, maybe I do want to see that. So maybe we will put it on the same side as we did the last one. Why not? It doesn't really matter. Um, these are very fun and quick to do. We're finding. Okay, very good. And I'm not worried that I'm not down right at the bottom. I'm not worried about that at all. Okay, what color? Do we want to go with this? Maybe this, I think maybe that one. And I feel like I might want to cut. I'm just thinking I want, I, I want a lot of that image on the front. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit of this, recognizing that I have enough to, to cover both sides. Okay, so we're gonna put our glue in. So I'm just doing the same sort of thing as the last one. Put our glue down. And like I said, I've already measured these to be the right height for the envelopes. For my envelopes, it was just over three and a quarter inches. And then we've got this coming here. And go like so. Actually, that's a little more than I need it to be. I'm trying to get it right. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. We're gonna just put our glue down. Okay, and then we're going to fold it. And then it's going to come over onto this side. And we can keep it as a straight edge if we want it, or we can tear a little. I kind of like the idea of tearing it. I don't like everything to look super straight. So then I'm going to put glue here, like 
so. And then we're gonna fold that over. Lovely, it's just beautiful paper. And then I'm gonna cut it again. I go to just about the edge and then I just kind of go up a tiny bit. You can tear that if you want to, if it's not exactly where you want it. Get my little scissors out to do a little refining. And then we're going to take our tab and put a little notch. Like that. And we have another pocket. That fast. Just going to do these edges. I'm not doing the other edge because it has the envelope down there and I don't want to cut into this part of the envelope. And grab another one of these beautiful tags. I think that's down to my last few. I love them. Isn't that beautiful? Like I'm really, really pleased with these. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> okay, let's do one from the other side. We'll do it from this side over here. And we'll pick, we'll pick which paper we want to use on it in a second. Okay. So. Like so. There we go. And I'm just looking at my next one. And I don't think I want the same, that's the same paper. So we'll use this with that if we have time. And we'll use this one here. I'm going to just, like I did with the last one, I'm going to just cut a little bit off because I want to use a fair amount of that image that we've got. And so I'm just going to put my glue on. And of course you can decorate these up with more um, like more items that you might have in your stash. Oh, I heard you yelling. Put the line in. What that does is it, it closes the envelope on that side so that it is uh, you know, a closed spot. Oh, we could have used the other side. There's that beautiful um, writing from Rachel. I love that for the back of a page for backdrops. And then I'm just going to put lots of glue here. Are you are you joining me on the whole? crusade to enjoy and use your guest checks. I'm just going to tear this like that, put that aside, and put some glue on. There we go. Perfect. Love it. Okay. And then we're gonna here I'll just I'll just go down a little bit so that it makes it a little easier. Do that first. There you go. And then we'll I should be using a smaller set of scissors for that, but that's fine. Okay, and I'll grab my tab there you go and we'll do our corner chomping I'm really using my coin corner chomper a lot more these days I had really not used it much at all before and I think it was probably Rachel with all of um, 
her cutting of corners on ephemera, which is a really bright thing to do because, or a smart thing to do, however you want to state it, because it makes things easier. If, if you do it on a tag, if you snip the edges, it makes it easier to put things into pockets. Things flow a little, especially if it's a tight pocket. And there's another fun one. Okay, three down, one more, one more to go. So, I think I'd be more inclined to want to put it on this side because I like seeing all this writing over here. If we put it on this side, well, let's do it. Let's do it on that side. There's really, we'll see less writing on that side, but that's okay. Maybe you want to run some washi tape or something on that side. So, you know, whatever works. That one's closer to the bottom. Okay. So we'll put the glue on. Whoops. Got it on my workstation and not so much on my on my envelope. So I'm gonna just set that down here at the bottom. We don't want it to encroach too far on that side. Okay. This is a lot longer than I need it to be, but we're gonna be we're gonna be um, taking care of that when we fold it around to the back. You could, of course, um, collage these if you want it. Uh, you know, rather than use one piece of paper. I like, I like simplifying those sorts of things, but it really is up to you. So I'm just gonna cut, tear that down. Okay, set that piece of paper aside. And then And then we're going to glue that down. Perfect. And then, oh, I didn't cut it yet. Okay, so I'm going to cut it just down here a little bit. Like that. Perfect. That aside, grab our um, little punch. I can see that the light that I have on is kind of um, masking the colors a little bit. Um, they're actually brighter than they appear, and I'll show you that in a sec. Cut those. Love that. And I have two left after this. I'm gonna have to put it in order with with Bernie. Isn't that adorable? Like I'm just so happy with those. So this is one. It's the back. This is another. And that's the back. Love that pink. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. That's the back. And this one. That's the back. So, we do have some time. So maybe... Let's see. Actually, some of the pieces that we took off other places could look really pretty on some of these. Oh, that would be very pretty on here. Um, hmm. Where do I want it? I'm going to cut this, because this is probably exactly the height. I'm going to tear it down a little bit and just decorate with some of the scraps that we took off. And you can use other things as well, of course. But I think that looks really cute. 
right there because that plays with that color as well. Let's see what else do we have. I've got a piece of this one. I think it would be better there. Making it straight for that straight edge and then just cutting it a little bit with my finger. So it would go there. Why not? Why not? Of course, you know, I'm going to end up adding labels and that sort of thing as well. Love those. Those are beautiful. And I think I want to put, um, let's see, what else do I have here that I've torn off? have this and oh I have some book page too just one second why not use a little bit of book page could just put a little bit of book page here I think that would be nice on there So I was just thinking, is everybody yelling at me to put it down here? I'm going to put it down here instead, just to give a little bit more interest on that side. Because um, you don't have to put something there if you don't want to. You just don't have to do it. Um, let's see, book page. I just cut down here. So I have a bit of a straight edge. And I'm going to just grab a piece like so. I want it to have something. Well, we could just set it on the inside. Why not? Let's do that. Oh, I see I'm starting to run out of time. So let's put this on the inside. Maybe we don't want anything on there. Um, let me grab my labels. Oh, I had this label left. No, that's not it. Okay, let me grab. I have some of these. Oh, I love these. These florals are lovely. Oh, that's going to go there. Is that too big? Oh, this one, the green. I think I'll put that one there. Okay, I'm going to set this one down here. Right there. And of course you can put tabs on these as well flip them over. You could put flowers on if you wanted. Whatever kind of suits your fancy and what it is that you're making. If you're doing a theme journal, you know, you could use themed paper. How are we? Oh, I have time to find a couple more of these, I think. I do love these. <laughs> they make me very happy. Um, just trying to pick one that's not too large. There we go. All right, I'm going to put 1897 down here. I'm going to put it up here. Changed my mind. So put that one there, and then this one. I want to put this butterfly down here, I think. There, or there. I'm going to put it there in the middle. 
towards the middle. Love it. Love it. Put things on them that you love so that you would, you know, you'll be thrilled to use them somewhere. Actually, I'm going to set a butterfly or something up there because it's so plain there. I hope my time does not... I'm going to set him there. And if this has uh, stopped, if my video has stopped because I'm already at 30 minutes, then I apologize if it stops abruptly. And I'm just going to very quickly set that in there. So there you go. There are our little pocket flips, our little envelope flips on our guest checks. Thank you so much for joining me, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.